Hello, welcome back Space Cadets. Let's see if we can survive a mission on Mercury. Sadly, I don't have any normal missions, I just have a defense mission. But I also want to see what happens if you just keep time if we get better missions over here. What is that thing that looks like a bug? Is it a helmet? Is it a backpack? Is it a weapon? I don't know. And like usual, we'll just have a few things prepared and the turret. I kind of like the combo of the Hydra pistol with the Jeff Hammer a little too much. Well, I guess I should maybe think about use something else. It is range 5, yeah, but it has the same range. Oh wow, that's a lot of guns. Okay, I should start using some of this stuff. Mm, yeah, I have a lot of Jeff Hammers, but I don't have a lot of... I guess we can use a punishment rifle. Is it punishment or pun? No, punishment. <laughs> it sounds weird, but yes, it's really punishment. Let's reload that. Well, probably I should put the hydro in the first part. There. Forty bullets should be more than enough. Okay, let's start the mission. Yeah, I've been playing around with the game and apparently a lot of things are better, a lot of things are worse. I still cannot get over the fact that the spiders are so annoying and... Believe me, there are a lot of spiders. It's not like you only see one or two. Oh, no, no. There are a lot of them. Basically, that side is covered. The manager is here. Oh, wow, they started this strong now. Wait, what, is, what happens with the Quasimorph? I think, wasn't Mercury a Quasimorph planet? That's what I remember, but I don't see anything happening here. Oh, well, I guess we'll just loot everything. That's exactly that's exactly what I needed. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of ammunition if we want to survive, you know, the, in the long term. Ah, why not? Let's just get everything that will help us. Okay, the generosity knows no limits. I wonder what's next. This should be... Oh, wow. Hey, good luck trying to... to destroy that turret. No, why am I already full on the loot? Yeah, they're using all of the cheap tricks with the robots and the other stuff. Well, I guess I can put this over here so I can take this button. No, let me take that. Morphine, well, I guess I should take the morphine as well. Yeah, let's do it like this. As you can see, I'm trying to collect all of the ammo because that... This is glass. Glass and acid. Who is a good boy? Who is a good turret? Yeah, okay, let's just sit over here and wait for them to come to us. Look at my my football dropping. Oh, that's bad. I skipped too much.
Of those silent robots, those ninja robots are the worst. You have, you have a pistol? Okay, this is getting a bit dicey. Well, if you shoot at me, you die. Wow. What? That was not even close to the target, man. Okay, that was kind of dangerous. Why did I get swarmed by so many enemies? Look at that! That's like all of the enemies at the same time. We can eat this. Okay, let's just wait until we finish this mission because I don't trust it. Okay, we are done. Wow, okay. Okay, that was... Um, I don't want to say that was dangerous, but that was a bit intense in the last moment. They are just coming from every direction and some of them had energy guns, which were the scary ones. I guess we can eat that just to take the plastic. Okay, the f my favorite part of the game, the looting. Well, if it works, it works. I cannot complain about it. Jackpot. Hmm. Okay, let's look at this from a different perspective. Do I really need that single wire? Not really. This is taking too long. Let's speed up the process. Watch that. Actually, it uh, hurts a lot. The, por the point where I cannot really play. I guess we can leave the bandages and take something better. Oh yeah, I can see why I almost died now. <laughs> wow, okay, so these guys, who am I fighting against? I forgot, but they have a lot of medical items. It's like the whole hospital came to greet me. Okay, that's enough. Thank you, Turret, you are the best. <laughs> you defeated all of them. And I got two bishops for it. Which I guess is not that bad, but eh, still I was expecting something a little better. Well, sorry about this, I just have to... ...deposit this stuff and then we'll continue our little adventure. This gun is so cool, even though it has range 5, it actually goes up to... Six more or less, and T8s. It's just much better against a lot of enemies. Now, what do I do here? I guess I can trade my my punishment, but I only have one. What other chips do I have? Well, I guess if it's a chip, we have a few of those. Still, I still haven't gotten around to fix all of this nonsense over here. Yeah, okay, let's just trade the chips and then let's pass time. I'm really curious if we get better missions. Right, what is the trading area? To 
200 for the punishment assault rifle, that's not bad. So we have a chainmail and a cuirass. Wait, I thought this was a, an, a better version of the chainmail, but apparently... Not so much, you get an extra slot, but you lose some of the protection. Not cool, not cool, yeah. That's even worth trying to do a little trade. You, are, you always have to go big for the trades, above 1000. Okay, like I said, like I said, okay, over here. Hmm. How do I want to do this? I guess I can help that clan as well, but that would be a, <laughs> I would feel bad about it. I guess we can go from one place to the other. I actually don't have anything else I want to build. Well, I guess we have a lot of free bottles. Let's make some of these then. Oh man, okay. We are surviving in space. By we know in space we should synthesize a cup of Earl Grey. We should only be making Earl Grey tea like Jean Luc Picard, <laughs> not ancient cognac. Not a gentleman drink. I think that I really wanted to see how Mercury has changed, but to be honest, I don't want to help these guys. Oh, well, I guess it's Mars again? Maybe Venus? Okay, I'm, I'm have to do this again. Sure. Okay, then let me show you something else this time. So, like I said, you are going to have such a such an easy time doing this if you just have one single scanner. So let's see how fast PCP. Let's see how fast I can do a mission if I just scout the first level, which is the landing area. Oh wow! How are you supposed to even figure this stuff out? Look at that. The definition of a weird maze. Guess we're going up. Yeah, I should have brought my shotgun over here. What was I thinking? I guess it just it works just as well. The blue boxes are one of my problems. Can I stack the guns? I remember there being a trade for it. No, you cannot stack the guns. Oh well. Then I'll not take them. Oh, you poor deluded little fools. What's that over there? No, not worth it. Too much of a detour. Like I said, I just want to see how fast I can finish the mission. That's a big gun. I don't trust big guns in the hands of other people. They're actually giving me what I want. That's rare.
Who is doing the thinking? What? An item? That is not an item. What is it then? Oh, good. I have a gun that destroys a tree, but cannot hit a target behind it. I really need to get some of those as well. What is that? Is that a bug? And that really feels like it's a bug. Oh man, I really like this color. Look at how pretty the colors are, right? <laughs> I mean, you can play some color Tetris over here. Yeah, I never noticed this, but look at this. The developers really have some preferences for certain colors, while others they don't really like at all. Yeah, that definitely feels like it's a bug to me. You know what? Keep it, I don't care enough. Wow, they're really giving me the easy stuff. A red one. Hmm. Red kits are also pretty nice, I guess we drop that. So easy. This would have taken me maybe 30 minutes if I didn't know where it was. That's why you never come with a full med kit stack. These guys have no manners. Painkillers. Antibiotics, I mean. Well, I guess I should put them over there. What about the regular... Ah, whatever. More likely we'll find more bullets than anything else. I don't think I really want to handle the quasi-morphic artifacts. Man, it scares me so much because those bats look like rifles. Is it time for a sip? Look at how many items this character has. Eight. Okay. I'm out of ammo for my main gun. Now what do I do? I guess we'll just have to shotgun them down. It's a single bullet I have over here. I feel like that's a single bullet. But it's only the minor fire, the fire that doesn't do deal enough damage to hurt me. The fire is not going away. Why is the fire not going away? What kind of witchcraft is this? The fire is not going away, it's only spreading. I'm not a fan of what's happening now. Okay, my... How does this even happen? I was just on fire for an infinite duration I came over here. And then I got blasted in the face immediately and now I have to blast them again and... Oh, wow. 
should be a fireman at this rate. Who keeps firing at me? Oh, sorry, probably I screamed a little too loud. Ah, not scream, but I said oh man too, too loud. That was a weird combination of events. I need another sip of this. This is a bit too much. On the developer's thing, maybe it's too much? I think it's a little too much. Okay, can I just go without being attacked by 10 enemies? Apparently not. Okay, I might have misspoken. Why is this map so weirdly made? I think the elevator is down there, but I'll just check this room as well. For consistency. This, these humans are not joking around. It's a new, it's a new what? I might die here because again the problem is I'm not finding the exit. And keep that, give me this. I think I also want the rubber but they're making me destroy my beautiful color scheme. They are not even glowing. What's wrong with the fire? It seems like the fire was lasting a lot more than I usually expected. Well, I'm looking at stuff and looks like, oh well. I'm preparing to use our energy ammo. Is that darkness or is just a dead end? Yeah, this is not my favorite part of the game. Like, what, what's up with the map design? Why does it lead you through all of these very, very long hallways into nothing? It was not a, the game beforehand. They... Oh, I don't like this. This is why I don't trust developers anymore. They clearly made something with the map generation so it's more long winded tunnels leading to nowhere. I'm not sure what's happening with the game, but this was one of the more strange, one of the strangest maps I've seen. How did I take so much damage? Because I healed and then I died. How do you die after you heal when I have 11 fire resistance? I just don't know. This is one of those games where it has become so cheesy and gimmicky that I'm not sure I want to play it. I'm basically now I'm playing it because other people want to see it and it's funny somehow and it's okay. But how did I die here? It's my whole process since they made the big update and wiped this. How did I die? How did I die? Because the fire should have done only five damage to me every round and I pressed one to heal with the medkit. How does this keep happening? I've only experienced very gimmicky and very weird deaths, deaths. And anyway, I would have died because of the Cosmorphosis was getting out of control. Because instead of being a normal base, it feels like I'm playing in a sock. So the sock is only one direction, but it's a very long direction. So if you pick the wrong room, you might tend to the, you might go to the toes, 
But then you find out that you have to go back where you came and then go back another direction back to the toes. You know, this map design doesn't make any sense. Uh, after all, it should be a logical design to the bases. Anyway, yeah, not not feeling it tonight. And thanks time. Bye bye.